Hi everyone, it's Miss Amy from Camden Public Library and it is book talk time for teens and tweens uh, and it is almost Easter so why not choose a bunny book? So these are great books that happen to have bunny or rabbit characters or themes. So uh, the first one is El Defo. Uh, this was a Newbery Honor book. This is uh, about the author. This is a, the author's memoir. And no, she is not a rabbit, but her story character in this graphic novel is a rabbit. And it is all about her struggles as a kid growing up and uh, having hearing loss and how she changed different hearing aids and different implants and all sorts of things and things that she had to deal with. So really, really cool, awesome book. Um, yeah, so check it out. Uh, this one, because of the rabbit, this is by uh, main author, Cynthia Lord, a friend of mine. And this is about Emma, whose dad is a, um, like a, a, a warden. And he, they, he brings home a, uh, a rabbit. Uh, and he's always bringing home lost things. And they make posters and everything, wondering. Um, but Emma gets attached to it. She finds a new friend. And everything is because, everything that happens is because... She, uh, her dad brought home this rabbit. So check it out. Fun, fun, short read, quick read. Uh, Benicula. This has been around a long time. This is about uh, a vegetable sucking vampire rabbit. Or so Chester, the dog, uh, thinks. Uh, and the rabbit showed up after they watched um, Dracula at the movie theater and yeah, the rest is history. And there is a whole series of Benicula stories and they've been around for a long, long time. Uh, just fun, silly story. Uh, for lovers of the Redwall series, the Redwall adventures, um, this is The Long Patrol by Brian Jakes. And this is about the Long Patrol rabbits, um, hares, who, um, who help protect uh, Redwall Abbey against evil, evil stoats and other um, nasty animals uh, because they're all animal characters. But these are incredibly rich fun, fun stories. And I actually own them all because, and have read them all and love these stories. Check them out. Katie Camillo's uh, Miraculous Journey of Edward Tulane. And Edward was a, is a China rabbit who uh, is very stuck up at the beginning of the story until he gets lost. And then he it ends up in a garbage heap and at the bottom of the ocean and comes up in, in somebody's fishnet. And um, it is his story uh, finding his true self and um, learning that he wasn't such a nice rabbit at the beginning. Um, yeah, and it follows his adventures as he... Um, as he gets found by different people. And yeah. Uh, and then, uh, this is in our adult section, and it is a very complex story. This is Watership Down. However, this was a book that I read in high school. It is super thick, it has political overtones um, because it is about uh, a warren of rabbits actually several warns of rabbits and what they, um, how rabbits live, like their, their, like their society and 
uh, their adventures and you follow a family of rabbits, two in particular, and a girl rabbit, and uh, in this Warren, and it is an incredible adventure. I loved this. Uh, there's a movie that's been made about this. It's a great read aloud. Um, complex, but amazing. So check them out. Maybe you'll read a bunny story for the weekend or for vacation. Happy reading. Miss Amy.